Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back in my wizarding save file and I'm doing the graveyard that Harry um, like is transported to in the fourth movie with Cedric and yeah I just thought I wanted another creepy um, like build um, that fits in with the other like wilderness build that I did um, in Oasis Springs so yeah I decided that um, that would be a like, nice addition and I decided in the end that I would make it into a museum not any particular reason for that just um, because I thought that would be the easiest to accomplish because I knew that I wanted to put down some graves and like gravestones and honestly I thought that um, they would be like um, statues and would be like fulfill a few of the requirements I'm not sure if that's actually true um, I don't think so but that was the like first thought that I had and I knew that I wanted it to be like some functional lot I didn't want to make it into a generic one so that was the reason for that but yeah it I don't think I put any requirements down just um, for like um, the lot itself I put them down because they are requirements for it and not um, anything related to what I actually wanted to put down um, if that makes sense I don't think so but yeah and here you can see me um, with the um, like trim. I um, put that down um, around the whole area so it makes more sense. Um, and it looks like more detailed art architecturally and I thought that would look cool. And um, I even put in a hand and a creepy little doll um, into the cauldron. Um, so yeah, it's supposed to represent uh, the hand of Pettigrew and of course Voldemort, the uh, baby-like Voldemort. I just thought that would be a fun addition. And yeah, I also coloured the um, like larger greys that I did around the cauldron um, in like different tones of grey and white, um, just because I thought that would fit well like they have like different ages for example and the um, stones are different because the families wanted a different stone or something I don't know um, but I think in like the movie when you look at the different scenes you can see that it's not all the same stone and I thought that would be a nice addition and now I'm just putting down the requirements so you have to have a painter's easel as well and I thought that the like open structure on top would be a nice place for it to be and um, I've already put down toilets and sinks and now I'm just putting down some wall decor which is the last requirement that I haven't put down yet or hadn't put down yet and then I put in windows in the yeah, in that particular structure, um, just because I thought that would make sense. And now I'm putting down some lights, so you can actually see where you're going if it's dark. And I also colored the roofs, I hadn't done that yet. Um, I'm not even sure why I did all the other colors, um, but I forgot the roof for some reason. And now I'm putting down some pathways with terrain paint. So yeah, it makes more sense where you're supposed to walk. I'm not sure if they're actually, um, like, they don't follow the path probably, but yeah, um, you can dream, kind of. And um, I'm also not sure if the Sims can actually walk up to um, where the painter's easels are, because of course that um, pathway is like an incline, and I'm not sure if that incline is too steep for them or not but I um, didn't really care. Um, I thought about testing it out, but honestly, I just forgot. So yeah, I hope that it works, but I'm not sure. And yeah, here you can see me putting down some debug items, debug, debug fences out of stone, and some lanterns, 
and of course also some landscaping. I tried to use a little bit of like creepy landscaping and um, the stones so it just looks more interesting and more complete basically. I also wanted to use that fence um, with like the marble like fence um, for the graves but it just wouldn't um, like work correctly so I abandoned that idea. I also wanted to like cover up that um, structure um, with the two graves in it um, with some landscaping so um, just that it looks like it's built directly into the ground and not like the ground sinks down and then the structure is built. Um, I couldn't figure out how I would do it um, so it looks like it's actually like in the ground. Um, I just covered it up a little bit. I also put down some landscaping around the graves as if like um, the groundskeeper wasn't able to actually weed everything out. In general the whole graveyard is a little bit overgrown and looks like not all that well maintained. Um, but that is like intentional because I think in the movie you can clearly see that it is a little bit less well in maintained than it could be. I also put down some um, like landscaping that grows up the um, structures just because I could and I thought it looked cool and like overgrown and made sense with the whole like thing that I had going on. And now I'm just checking whether the landscaping peeks into the build that I had and I also go through the decorations tab and look at it and um, yeah I thought about putting something else down but it was fine and I was finished then. Now you can see some screenshots of the build. I hope you like it. You can download it from the gallery. My ID is TGG Sims, same as my YouTube channel name. I also hope that you liked the video and will consider pressing the thumbs up button and subscribing. Thanks very much for watching and have a great week. Bye!